gonna take a look and see what's going on here guys i keep getting the um mm, keep getting the warning don't don't dismiss the red flags why does that keep coming out here what's going on in the collective here protected you are safe and divinely guided leap of faith okay so there's something about dismissing don't dismiss red flags when it comes to someone here okay um, I feel like you're being protected from something. You are being guided to safety, but there's some some red flags that you do not need to ignore. I see a leap of faith that says it's safe to move, make the move that you're considering, but it's also saying release. So you you may be releasing something else, letting go of something else, and taking a leap of faith into to a, another direction. I don't know what these red flags let me see what these red flags are though in a minute different pages uh you and someone are on different pages hmm. obsession but someone has obsessive thoughts about a connection okay so there's someone who is like holding on obsessively to another person but there are some red flags so maybe the red flags is this the obsession that someone can become dangerously obsessive time apart trust is safe to trust in this situation so there may be some distance or like um physical distance or there could be some type of a separation or some time period where someone's able to look at look at a situation clear and kind of like really make a decision on what direction they need to to take you know because there is a situation where someone is like is calling for trust but then there's these red flags so somebody could have some some things that need to be taken care of, you know, and right now may not be the the right time. Yeah, it says go slow, time apart. So something may, warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Again, there's a need for some boundaries, clear boundaries, and to go slow when it comes to a person here. It says there is a relationship that's moving towards sacred union, but there are some financial challenges. So take it easy, take it slow when it comes to this connection because there is something that, that could affect you um could affect you it feels more like when you get into a relationship there are things that both people are needing to bring to the table you know maybe communicate to one another um and if that information is not communicated or you know if there's something that's not really dealt with before you actually like go further into the relationship then it's like that person's issues become your issues so it, it sounds something like that someone may be needed to be careful about um before they actually make this this huge leap of faith like don't dismiss the red flags pay attention to what's going on okay with with someone so let me go to the tarot because i want to see what else is going on because that has come out multiple times before I could even get started here with this reading. So let's see. I want to know what it is that, what's these red flags? All right, let's go. What are the red flags? You got the two of cups, you got the star card. So this, this could be about healing. I did see that old wounds still need healing here. So um there could be a union that's coming together but it there's a lot of healing that's still needed here especially with the star coming out here um something could be very positive but it looks it feels to me like there's some things that still need to be healed before something really moves forward so you can have faith for it but you got to put in the work so maybe you know you've done the work to heal yourself and maybe someone else have but there could be other things 
that are still needing to be dealt with. Tell me more about these red flags. Yeah, if you have the Eight of Swords, okay, there's a situation where someone could feel trapped or restricted. What is this restriction here? This could be a situation where you get into a relationship and you feel stuck or you feel like you can't get out of a situ get out of something with someone. The high priestess, because there's more to something here. Three of Pentacles, the magician, the King of Sword. Um, there could be and more information that's needed here when it comes to getting going into union with someone. So it feels like there's a partnership, but someone needs to still learn with the Three of Pentacles, need to research. Someone needs to really um, put in some effort to pay attention to the details before actually committing to a situation. Because I do see where with the magician, something here is being manifested here. Okay? Something is... Yep, look at the Ten of Cups. What is this? Page of Sword in the reverse. Um, something is being manifested here, but then there's a the King of Sword. There, there's a need for detail. There's a need to really pay attention to the fine print of something to really get more clarity. Something, you know, about morals, ethics, um, having a conversation. Um, this could be about talking about where we're going, what we're doing, how is this going to work out because the Ten of the Ten of Cups is about happiness, family, marriage, you know, something coming together. This could be, you know, um, yeah, a lot, definitely a long-term relationship, like living together, getting married, relocating, all of that great stuff. There needs to be more details there. Okay, so somebody here needs to know more, okay? Maybe maybe you're curious. Maybe you need to know, know, need to know more about um, what's going on. Or, or a person may want, need to know more about what's going on with you uh, before you actually make this commitment. The page of sword is in the reverse, okay? This is dealing with a, a lack of planning here. So something here needs to be carefully thought out and planned before it's actually um, carried out here. Page of swords. What's this? The hermit, yep. With the eight of, War, eight of uh, pentacles. So something needs to be enlightened. Someone needs to be enlightened about um, possibly financial obligations. Uh, Eight of Pentacles deals with work. We got the Eight of Cups that's walking. That well, it's kind of coming in reverse, but um, this could deal with travel. This could deal with walking away from something. You know, to go towards something else. Um, something here needs to be needs to be spoken about talked about researched communicated ten of pentacles and this could deal with money stability there's there's a lot that could this could cover here with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles okay because the ten of pentacles could be unexpected income this could be about having a solid foundation okay but there's questions there's uh a need to know the high priestess is out here though too so I feel like, you know, there are some things where someone is trusting their intuition or things are being revealed. Some spirit guides are revealing some things so that someone can make the best decision for themselves. So I'm not getting a definite no when it comes to a, to a particular like relationship or if it's not a relationship, this could be a partnership. This could be making a decision to move, relocate. This could be even helping someone out. Like a situation where it's going to require effort, work, even money. Um, think about it. Study it. Yeah, there's a page of wands. Um, get more information. Plan. Research. All of that before you actually go into this. Okay, what what's, what's the warning what could be the possible outcome if we don't pay if we don't do dismiss the red flags that's what i'm trying to say the four of cups okay the rejection wow that came out in in the pre-shuffle too was rejection so there's something about rejection some something's going to be rejected an offer is going to be rejected a person going to be rejected or it's going to be like a missed opportunity here if something becomes a negative ten of swords, it's going to end, okay? This could end in a betrayal or a very painful ending. This could also be where someone, like, brings a lot of negative energy in their in their direction. 
you know, because they didn't plan or they didn't think something through. So this is like you got to be careful about who you're joining up with or connecting with. You need to know exactly what's going on because something could could cause you to to start experiencing loss or you become exhausted or depressed and start to miss out on other opportunities that could have been a better choice for you. Wow. Wow. Mm. Let me see. Let me go to my revealed intentions. Yeah, be careful about who, who you're joining up with, you know, at this time. Because this is a time where a lot of the collective are really experiencing positive changes coming out of negative situations, healing, bouncing back from financial difficulties. So do not dismiss the red flags when it comes to partnerships, friendships, relationships, whatever um, that is that seems to be coming your, your way. Because something here could lead to marriage. I did see that there's a sacred union that's um, going towards marriage. There's something that has the potential. But it feels to me like something has to be sorted out and dealt with prior. Okay? Or, you know, some of you could have a choice. And I want to see, you know. And you want to make the wisest decision for yourself. There is someone that wants to reconcile, but they have not changed certain patterns of behavior. So you need to proceed with caution or refuse the offer. Yes, something's going to end in a rejection if you are not paying attention to certain behaviors, certain um, things that is going on with someone that is going to cause um, that's going to cause issues. That's going to cause you to struggle, cause you to be in lack or something like that. Now, if it's not a reconciliation, this could be someone that wants to, you know, partner up with you. But there are certain things that you notice about the, their behavior, their lifestyle, that you're like, no, you know, don't ignore it. You're being told not to dismiss those things. You have those aha moments for a reason when it comes to a particular person. So it's like, you know, don't ignore it because this can cause you to feel entrapped, stuck. This could be a, a situation involving family. So, yeah, someone wants to come forward with information that may change a situation. So there is going to be communication. There is going to be something that you find out, um, information that will help you to make the best decision for you. Okay, someone is facing an addiction, codependency that is affecting their relationships and life altogether. So there's there's a situation where someone could be struggling um, with with addictions drugs alcohol overspending because some of it it may not even be that someone has like a, a, an addiction like drugs and alcohol someone could be a terrible financial planner a terrible with budgeting their money they overspend they overdo things they they really don't know how to uh, take care of themselves and so you end up in a situation where you're stuck um, handling all the bills, handling all the obligations, dealing with a lot. So it's, it's information that needs to be discussed, talked about, and you making the best decision for you because somebody's life is already kind of uh, a mess right now. It says someone needs to pull back their energy from a situation or person that is draining them. So someone could be already draining you, making you feel stuck, making you feel like there's a lot of obligations and burdens when it comes to them. And I feel like you're going to be pulling back your energy because you know what? You feel like it may be you rejecting this situation is actually going to be protection for you. Some of you are already realizing that here, okay? That, you know what? I need to pull back from this. This is going to be too much for me. Maybe this isn't the time for a lot of you. Maybe you're focused on your own uh, passions, ideas your own um goals right now with this page of wands it's giving me like you you're focused on something and with you being so focused on what's going on in your life you know somebody may want to connect with you but they're having they're having struggles they're having issues themselves so beware of being manipulated or someone trying to cast some type of illusion or make it seem as though something is not what it it is, you know, um, only to get what they want out of you because someone here could come off 
um, very controlling, trying to get what they want, all right? But you're being warned ahead of time that you need to pay attention to what's going on with someone here, okay? The high priestess knows, follow your gut, your intuition. This could be involving a family member. This could be a lover. This could be anybody that you need to really um, have an honest communication with or you need to see something logically here. Okay, something here is not as authentic as it seems. So you want to make sure that you don't get yourself trapped up in a, in any situation that is going to call. Yeah, something could be a waste of time. This card says waste of a F though. So someone could want to sleep with you. But even with that, it could just be a waste of, of, a, of a sex, you know, experience. It, it may not even be all that. So someone could be trying to entice you by, you know, through sex or something. But it's like um even that ain't even gonna be good so it's like i don't know <laughs> oh yeah so this is you know this is what i have here um for the collective i am going to come back and do another one but guys listen follow your intuition follow your gut concerning um someone that's, that may be wanting to connect with you you know um at this time there's a healing that needs to take place either on your your end, their end, or both ends before something actually moves forward. Um, because it, it feels to me like if something is done prematurely, yep, look at the Seven of Swords. If something is done prematurely without you knowing all the details of something, it's going to result in, yep, the Sun card. Um, <clears throat> it's going to result in some setbacks, delays, or even you feeling regret or bitterness towards um, a person because of the the lack of planning here okay so yeah there's a situation where someone could really need to need to um get a peace of mind regarding a situation here okay the star something is coming to light someone needs to express themselves openly um tell the truth about what's going on how they feel all of that okay in order to have this passionate new beginning all right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. If you would like to book a reading, go to my website. Don't forget to like, share, and um, leave a comment if you feel like this is your message. I'll see you on the next one.